Hi everyone. This will be a quick demonstration on why it's important to have strong passwords. I know that's something you hear all the time um, whenever we're creating passwords for different websites or to manage our accounts that it's really important to have a strong password, but I think we don't always realize how vulnerable weak passwords really can be. So just to give an example, if I'm going to create a password for some website and I choose the password cool beans, um, usually that website will not store this phrase or this word as plain text like this. So in the database, they'll store it as a hash. A hash is a string of letters and numbers that represents some word or phrase. So when I type in cool beans here, you'll see that it gives us this hash. So SHA-1 is one method of hashing. It's not one of the stronger ones, but um, it works for this demonstration. So now this website has saved this hash to their database, not your actual password. And that makes things a little more secure. Let's take this hash and put it in this file here, demo hash, it's a text file, and I'll save it. So whenever there's data leaks, and I'm sure you hear about them all the time, how companies will lose information to attackers, the attackers usually don't get access to the passwords themselves. They get access to these password hashes, which but in and of themselves are useless to the attackers. They can't use that to log on to the website. So they have to crack it and figure out what the hash represents. I'll pull up my command prompt now. And you can see here that I've typed out a command that can be used to try and crack that hash. It's using a tool called Hashcat. And if you look here, we're taking that file, demo hash, that we just put the hash in and attacking it using this rocku.txt file. And what that file is, is a whole bunch of common passwords. Um, it's called a dictionary attack. And so if you have a weak password and you attack it with this dictionary attack, then it's likely it'll be cracked. So we'll run this command. And you can see it just took a few seconds. Um, right here, the status is cracked. So I'll go to my hashcat file and we will look for right here, demo cracked. So you can see here it cracked the password. Um, here's the hash that we put in and it told us our password, cool beans. So now if I were a potential attacker, I could use that password to log into your account and do whatever I wanted, get your information. Um, However, that is not always the case. It's not always that easy. So let's go back here and say I selected a stronger password. Um, we can stick with the same format. We said do a capital C, do a zero, an O, and then maybe add a U in there. And then So this is still fairly easy to remember, but of course it's more complex. It follows the rules you've heard about making a strong password. I'll copy this hash now, save it to the same file, and then go back to the command prompt and run the same command. So it tried to go through and attack that hash, but you can see here the status is exhausted. It wasn't able to crack the hash. So just by making some simple changes, I changed the hash enough that if I were an attacker, I wouldn't have any access to your information. I wouldn't be able to crack the password. So what do we learn from this? First and most obviously, it's important to have strong passwords. Um, even just some small changes will make it so an attacker doesn't gain access to your information if they're able to steal the password hashes. Second, I think that you can see how quickly we're able to attack and crack different passwords here, and there's much more sophisticated tools. So I think it's really important that we enable two-factor authentication and do things so we rely on more than just our password to protect our information because, as you've seen, passwords are not the strongest defense that we have.